made it, you guys. Five hour flight. Observe. We're gonna go check in and check out our room and turn around and head to the gym right now. All right, you guys, Tuesday morning in the airport. We're here with Mikey D, doing the damn thing. <laughs> Just had my first good experience. I have this bag right here, filled with my uh, 44 Love, and uh, it got flagged or whatever, so they had to open it up and search it, but we got it through. So I got a bunch of my meals coming with me. Excited about that. So we're golden. We're about to go get in line to, to get on the plane. Let's rock. Shit though, so I'm gonna sleep just fine. Me too. <laughs> you brought your earplugs, buddy. Oh, you snore. I brought some too. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Alright, look at this. Got a day bed. Alright. Got a sick ass something. Cabinet. That guy. Gotta be a fridge. All right. Look at that. Told me to bring all my valuables, so everything was valuable. <laughs> oh yeah. Good morning, you guys. Day two. Time is eight o'clock a.m. Eastern time. Up to the night. How'd you sleep, buddy? Uh, I slept great. No snoring. <laughs> no snoring. Mike is an infamous snorer. The earplugs next to my bed, but did good. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Then, uh, then we're gonna come back and get our stuff together for some. I think grappling at ten. Mid work at eleven thirty. What's up, you guys? So it's uh, Wednesday. Just got done doing some grappling and kickboxing. <laughs> Over there at Lowe's on MMA. Um, I'm still on day two of my trip. It's been great. Joe's been nothing but freaking good to me. He's been so cool, so nice. How's your How's your trip going, Adam? Oh, lovely. Fucking pretty good. Actually, really good. Joe Lowe's on is legendary. We've been uh, picking his brain on all things fighting, lifestyle, taxes, finances. Uh, learned a whole bunch already. It's only freaking day two. So tonight was a little lighter at the gym So we're doing a little extra in the fitness room today we're at the gym and uh, Some guy super thick Boston accent, which I love. I think it's awesome. He walks in. and He's telling us Yeah, watch out for the snapping turtles. We're like, what is this dude talking about? And apparently where his gym is there's like a little creek or something and the turtles are like trying to get to the creek and it's like straight through the gym. So he said like the previous people that were in that building, like one day they came in and there was like a line of baby snapping turtles. I asked him if they made good pets. He wasn't really too uh, too thrilled about that comment. But yeah, he didn't like the joke. No, no. Um, I, was, I wanted to see him. If I wasn't so tired after training, I would have gone and looked for some. I don't know what a baby snapping turtle looks like. It's probably pretty pretty damn cute. Truth be told, he was a little scared of the snapping turtles and <laughs> told me jump in the car quick. You know what? I got a fight coming up. I don't want to get a, lose a finger or a toe or whatever they do. It's okay. You go down. You fight. <laughs> Am I in the shot? No, not at all. <laughs> it's like I Zoom know. out. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Today's Sunday. We just got back last night. Dude, I had such a great trip, man. I didn't get to film as much as I'd like to. Next time, I gotta bring these two with me to help me film more. Um. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I went out there to meet a legend and, and Joe Lozon and to get some rounds in and uh, as corny as I am, it's, you know, I left with a friend, you know, Joe was just super open and um, really a great guy and his wife Katie was, you know, super nice making me dinner and stuff and I got to meet the legendary Joey Lozon Jr. Adorable to the max, like he melted me every time I saw him. Got some of the best training 
uh, of the entire trip yesterday, right before I left. There was a room for the killers. There was probably four or five UFC guys, myself. Everyone was real close to my weight, which made it really, you know, perfect. They, uh, I did three five minute rounds and then they did the shark, shark tank, shark bait. I what they call it, shark baiting on me. Where basically we just did a specific position, rotated it in. So it was friggin' solid, man. I'm so happy that I went. I'm so happy to have got that experience. And hell yeah, man, now we're like almost there. We're freaking two weeks away. To be honest, this is my least favorite week right now. I get to, you know, do less sparring so I don't get injured. But I gotta keep my conditioning high and I gotta keep my diet you know, super on point, so my waist is low. Probably the worst week. And then fight week is the following week, and that's my favorite week. That's where we get to go and do all the media interviews, hang out in the hotel and chill, so. Great trip, happy to be home. Miss my baby, miss my dogs, and miss my dogs. <laughs> Bomb squad. But yeah, speaking of which, boom, 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 boom. New shirts just got in. We'll be picking them up tomorrow, getting out those out to all you guys that want them. Let me know. Can't wait two more weeks, you guys, and let's go time. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next episode.